Potassium has a plus one charge. Oxygen has a two negative charge. You swap and drop to write the formula. That gives you K2O. And that reacts with water. And you want to go to your post lab number one from the conservation of mass lab to try to figure out which reaction this is so that you can predict the product. You're not looking at your post labs, that's why you're not you can't figure it out. You gotta look at post lab number one from conservation of mass. I wasn't talking to you. I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to somebody else. So you have to look at those examples to try to figure it out. So when you look over here, remember y'all wrote all these down. You wrote them down for a reason. A highly reactive metal oxide reacts with water to give you a metal hydroxide. A synthesis reaction. This is a synthesis reaction and you end up with a metal hydroxide. And since our metal is potassium, it would be potassium hydroxide. Potassium has a plus one charge. Hydroxide has a negative one charge. So there's no need to swap and drop. All we need to do is balance it. So how do we balance it? In front of the K, yep. Two Ks, two Ks, two H's, two H's, two O's, one, two O's were balanced. 